that go? Is that weird? Today. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's good. There, but it's um, just too good an opportunity not to be able to draw um, this fascinating and august <coughs> group together. Um, but also because I'm sure that many of the discussions that we've um, heard this afternoon um, <coughs> will have um, elicited questions from your good selves. So Martin's going to um, <coughs> kick off. Welcome, Martin. Thank you very, very much for doing this. Um, and then uh, once the ball is rolling, we'll open it up for some questions from the audience too. So, <coughs> Something that seemed to be thematic out of the various talks that I've heard over the last two days, Something about the idea of um, uh, maybe citizenship and participation or, um, and responsibility or being able to respond. I don't know if I'm romanticising the idea of a citizen as a participant in a group. Um, but having the ability to respond, um, being provided a platform to respond and having the confidence. Maybe that is something about locus. Um, maybe we can do it for ourselves, but. I think we do need a context, and I think some of the curators who have spoken have provided platforms or containers where that can happen. So um, just, I just want to throw that in there, the idea of being a participant and maybe a citizen. Uh, yeah, the, the relationship between um, universities, the art world, and democracy, um, especially uh, for me particularly, the relationship between universities and democracy in terms of creating bodies of independently thinking people who can critique consumerism, um, we don't, there doesn't seem to be any correlation anymore. There doesn't seem to be any point even bringing that up. Um, the fact, so that study of citizenship or participation, when it's not being um, promoted by the very institution that um, should be the, the front line of that defence, um, there's just a complete collapse and, um, of any feeling like there is a point of participating because what do you participate in? There's nothing there. There's no standard. There's no line drawn that you're actually participating in something that is contributing towards democracy. So I feel like that's been, for me, the big elephant in the room. And when we have our leading artists who are professors, going to Venice and are only known as artists. These people are, are paid state intellectuals and they're not known publicly as that, which means there's no representation at the front lines of people trying to defend democracy. Does that, does anyone follow my logic there? Oh, wait, you need, you need. Um, and it out. Uh, yeah, maybe slightly different in the et al context, but with Michael, it was absolutely um, evident in terms of ways that the project was written about and contextualised that he was a university teacher. Oh, he had yeah. History no. I'm not challenging your. Um, that's that's not the point. The point is, do the people, do the public know that this person is a state um, paid for intellectual? No, they don't. So. The point is that we only know in I respect him, don't get me wrong. I see the flag full, that it is a character sense, and I think it is quite good in some ways. But I mean, I, I, no, I, I disagree with what the I, I don't have a problem with his work in any, in any way. I really love his work, I really respect his work, and I think it's incredibly critical, and it always has been. My point is about the fact that he is also playing a very important role as a publicly paid intellectual. You know, I'm good at Asian, these guys are my friends, so I want to go cool. You know, that's great. But I'm on the receiving end of what happens when you are transparent. And it's incredibly intense and powerful. And it destroys you. And I would, I would like the people that are in their positions 
just to do what the law actually asks them to do. To be in university, you need to be a critic and conscience of society, and you need to accept that role. It's in the it's very clearly stated there in the Education Act of 1989. And when a artist is not known that they are actually receiving a salary to be a paid intellectual, to be the critic and conscience of society. Why I'm interacting with you here rather than behind the scenes, because this is a public issue. 